in this question a wetless gate having cross section of a quarter cylinder radius r in length l is pivoted at point o as on this figure at the bottom end is in a static equilibrium when subjected to two different fluids of density rho1 and rho2 as on the figure so this is the liquid with density rho1 and this is the liquid with density rho2 and you have to find the value rho2 by rho1 so this is a cylinder cylindrical gate and in the form of quarter cylinder it is uh, in a static equilibrium and it is hinged here so if it is hinged here so we have to balance the forces and we have to balance the torques okay so for forces we need reaction forces and for torque if we i if it can take the torque about this point so there is no need of reaction forces so ultimately we will balance the torques and by balancing the torque also we can find the density ratio only the density ratio is asked so what are the concepts required to solve this question let us first uh, see the concept required and then i will move to the solution of this problem so concept which we will require to solve this problem is to jo concepts require honge that is the force due to pressure on a plane vertical surface or any plane surface so if there is a plane surface like this as on this diagram and on other side there is liquid it is filled with liquid other side is filled with a liquid so due to that liquid pressure force is acting on this surface on this side wall so how to find that force so one method is because as we go along like uh, we go in the downward direction so downward direction when we move to pressure vary karta hai pressure increases as we go down to kyunki pressure vary karta hai so we can take this uh, rectangular strip and on that rectangular strip i can find the force df to force kya ho jayega yahan pe to this df will be equal to the pressure at that location rho gx and multiplied by the area of this strip this area will be the this is the width and this width is dx so this is b into dx so now you can integrate from 0 to h and you will find this force rho g b h square by 2 other methods are <coughs> so for a plane surface for a plane surface and in case of uh, constant density liquid uniform density liquid okay uniform density liquid we can apply this thing this is the pressure at the center of the area okay so this is your area this is a rectangular area and you have to find the pressure at the center so pressure at the center of mass or center of the area multiplied by the area so pressure here the center is at a distance h by 2 from the top so the pressure is rho g h by 2 multiplied by this area and other method is you can find the average pressure so average pressure in case of linearly varying pressure because here the pressure varies linearly with the depth so initial pressure at the top is 0 and this is rho gs divided by 2 so this is rho g bh square by 2 and other method is using pressure diagrams so pressure diagram we can draw like this so pressure diagram basically represents variation in pressure along this depth here the pressure is 0 here the pressure is rho gh so you can draw a proportional line proportionally to this pressure here pressure is 0 so you as you are not drawing any line here okay this is starting from this point so there is no length here and this length you can see it's gradually increasing as we go down so here is the length which represents rho gh the side is h so now this will be a triangle suppose there is a pressure here so it will be a trapezium here the pressure and here is the pressure will be p not plus rho gh so there will be a trapezium like this so you can find the area of this triangle and multiply it by the inner width which is b here so area multiplied by the inner width this will give you the force so we can find force like this so you can use the various method to find the force and if you want to find the torque of this force torque of this force about uh, this axis about this bottom so if you want to find the torque about the bottom then for torque we can use integration okay so this force is producing torque about this so df multiplied by this distance and this distance will be equal to this is this total is h so this will be h minus x so this distance is h minus x you can multiply the expression of df can be put from here this is the expression of df you can put this expression and you will get this answer rho g b h cube by 6 so we can use integration but uh, there is a method in the pressure diagram and from that method we can find the line of action of 
the net force net force is rho g bh square by 2 so where is the line of action of that force line of action will pass through the center of this diagram this is a triangle and for the triangle the center of this triangular area is at a height h by 3 from here okay at a height h by 3 from here so this force multiplied by h by 3 you can find it torque directly so this h by 3 at a distance h by 3 there is the line of action of this net force due to pressure on this on this uh, side wall okay so this is rho g bh cube by 6 so you can remember this kind of thing uh, if force is where is force varies linearly so this is how you can find the torque okay so these are the method to find the force and torque on this uh, side wall or a plane area now force due to pressure on a curved surface so curved surface is slightly different because on a plane area suppose if uh, this is a plane plane area like this so on a plane area force ka jo direction hai wo har ek point pe same hota hai theek hai yahan pe bhi force ka wo direction yahan pe force ka wo direction so at each and every point the direction of force will be same because force due to pressure is perpendicular to the surface so direction of force is everywhere the same you just need to find the magnitude of df so just a scalar addition magnitude you are adding just magnitudes and you are finding the net force but in case of uh, this curved surface on curved surface you can see how the forces are acting force will like like this like this like this perpendicular to the surface so there are two methods to find the force one method is obviously the integration you can take the elements and you can integrate suitably under suitable limits to find the force due to pressure on this curved surface and there is another method you can take this liquid element okay you can take this liquid element and you can take it out and make the free body diagram of this liquid element so agar is liquid element ka free body diagram agar aap banao to what will happen that uh, on this this will be a plane surface this is extending in the inner width inner width is let's say b or l anything so it is like a rectangular area okay this is a plane rectangular area horizontal area so if this is horizontal surface so on that horizontal surface the pressure is uniform you can see the uniform lines so force is simply this force is denoted by fy and this fy is simply the pressure here and multiplied by this area because pressure will be uniform everywhere and on this vertical face on this vertical face uh, pressure is increasing okay you can see this uh, length is increasing so this is like a trapezium and you can find this fx how to find this fx you can find pressure here you can find pressure here and you can take the average so you can take the average or you can find the area of this trapezium multiplying with the inner width as we have done before so this is one force due to pressure here this is one force due to pressure here okay and there will be weight of this liquid uh, element we have taken so there will be weight and all these forces because this liquid element is in equilibrium so because this liquid element is in equilibrium so forces should be balanced so these are the forces and other force on this liquid element will be due to contact with this uh, curved surface so this curved surface is exerting force like this at each, each and every point curved surface is exerting force like this pressure forces so as and you can see also the length of uh, these arrows are increasing because as we go down pressure will increase so this is a very uh, difficult kind of uh, pressure diagram you cannot find the area of this pressure diagram obviously so now what you will do you can see the components of these forces one component will be in the vertical direction vertically up and one component in the horizontal direction so resultant of all this resultant of all these and the component of that resultant force this is this fr is the resultant force and resultant force component will be along the horizontal this is fh and this is fv so from this diagram you can see this fh this fh is the horizontal component of force applied by this curved surface on this liquid element so this fh is equal to fx okay force balancing and this fv vertical component of that resultant force is fp and fp is equal to this plus this so this is indirect method to find the force applied by force applied by this curved surface on this liquid and in return newton's third law in return this uh, liquid will also apply the same force on this curved surface 
So you are directly calculating the force on this curved surface due to this liquid using this kind of equilibrium equation. So FH and FE we can find and the resultant of this two will be like this. Okay, so and other scenarios can be like this. Okay, other scenarios can be like this. Liquid can be something like this. So you can take uh, this liquid element as your FBD. So in FBD, you will have this FX. This is on this vertical face. You have a FY, okay, on this horizontal face. And the weight of this liquid enclosed, this is the weight of that liquid. And these are the forces due to this curved surface on this liquid element. And the same forces will be applied on the curved surface by the liquid also. So you can find this FH. These this forces will have this horizontal component. So this FH is balanced by this FX. And the vertical direction, what is happening in the vertical direction? So all these forces will have vertical downward component. So this FP is equal to from this diagram, this FV plus W is equal to FY. So FV is equal to this FY minus W. So this is the vertical force. So on this curved surface, this FH will be towards right, and this FV will be in the upward direction. So resultant of this FH and FV will be the resultant force on this curved surface also. So in this way, we can find the force on the curved surface. Other method is obviously, as I said, is the integration method. You can use integration. And one more thing here, if a uniform pressure like a atmospheric pressure, okay. So if uniform pressure acts all around the body, then it's uh, that force is zero, okay. Suppose this is a body and all around the uniform pressure like atmospheric pressure is acting. So net force due to that will be zero. So this this is the reason that's why we don't uh, we usually don't take the atmospheric pressures okay and in the previous diagram also i have not taken the atmospheric pressure because on this side wall you can see the atmospheric pressure is uh, usually from this side it is acting from this side this is acting so from this side and this side that is uh, getting cancelled okay so atmospheric pressure is not resulting any net force Okay, so generally we don't take atmospheric pressure because all around the body, if atmospheric pressure is acting, so net force uh, because of that will be zero. Okay, so with this much background and concepts, now let us tackle this question. So now let's go for this question. So here we have the density rho two, and here we have density rho one, and uh, it is hinged here, and I'm going to balance the torque. Okay, so first. Let us see how the forces are acting. So this is your cylindrical gate like this quarter cylinder cross section. So pressure forces here, pressure forces here are acting like this. These are the pressure forces. And as you go along, these pressure forces will increase. Okay. And pressure forces on this face are something like that. All these pressure forces are perpendicular to the surface and will definitely, this is a circular face. So will pass through the center. So only these two are the pressure forces here. Okay, so, and this is a weightless gate, so there is no weight of it. And uh, because I'm balancing the torque about this uh, O, so there is no need to show the reaction forces because the torque will be zero. So now you can see this force, these forces, resultant of these forces are easy to write. So resultant of these forces, from our discussion, I can write rho G B, rho G B, rho g b h square by 2. So here it is rho 2 g. For b it is l here. Okay, In the diagram this length is let's say l. So rho g l rho g b h square by 2 and h here is equal to r. And I can write the torque of this also. This distance will be equal to r by 3. Okay, So torque of this force I can easily write. But here the forces are slightly different and not so easy looking. So how to find the torque of these forces? Okay, so we can go for integration or we can go for that method using, uh, we can take this liquid element. So first I'm going with the integration method. Okay, so let us go with the integration method first. So I'm taking an element like this. Suppose this is the element and let's write the description about it. Suppose this is theta and this is d theta. 
and how the force will be acting force is acting something like this on this there will be a df like this okay so this is your df this df will have two components okay so this df will have two components one component of df is the horizontal one this is df cos theta and other component will be like this df sin theta okay so let's uh, do component here also so it is the df cos theta and it will be the df sin theta and what is the expression for df okay df expression will be expression of df you can write like this df is pressure multiplied by area so pressure is uh, so what is the height here okay what is the height from the top sorry what is the height from the top like this this height is this is r this angle is theta so this height will be r sin theta so rho g r sin theta g r sin theta and uh, what is this area what is this area here so this uh, length is here r d theta in this diagram and inner length is l so r d theta into l like a rectangular strip so it is r d theta multiplied by l this is the area so pressure multiplied by area this is your df but all the df are in a different different direction so we have to take the components and uh, now you need to take torque so torque is about this okay so if torque is about this then let's uh, see what is the direction of torque so torque uh, due to this is clockwise and torque due to this will be clockwise and you can see torque due to this force is uh, anti-clockwise okay so anti-clockwise torque due to this and uh, clockwise uh, torque uh, due to this two will balance each other so let us see what is the torque so t torque so you have to do components so df cos theta one component is df cos theta and df cos theta you have to multiply by this lever arm so this lever arm will be i think it is uh, this is r sin theta this is r sin theta and this total is r so this will be r minus r sin theta so df multiplied by r minus r sin theta this is the torque and what is the torque to df sin theta so df sin theta multiplied with what so df sin theta multiplied with uh, so this is the line of action and this is a perpendicular distance so perpendicular distance will be this and this is r cos theta so df sin theta multiplied with r cos theta so now put the value of df okay so in the value of df you can see r rho g r square l will be the constant you can take it out so rho g r square l and one r will be from here also so it will make it r cube so all this is going to be constant and cos theta multiplied with this so cos theta minus cos theta sin theta and is again cos theta sin theta so this and this are cancelled okay now you can integrate the expression um, in df expression there are other term also uh, d theta is there also okay so now you can integrate for theta and theta will be from 0 to pi by 2. So it is rho g r cube l. So what is there? Cos theta, cos theta d theta. So now you can integrate cos theta will be sin theta. Sin theta 0 to pi by 2. Okay, so this is the integration. And from here you can see rho g r cube l and you can put the value sine pi by 2 minus sine 0 so this is the torque okay and this row is basically row 1 this row is basically row 1 so this is row 1 g r cube by l so this is the torque this is the torque due to this force okay this is the torque due to this force so this one is the torque and let's go for the other torque There's a slight mistake in the calculation here. Okay, let me slightly go for the calculation. Uh, DF, uh, I've not put the DF here. Okay, DF is rho GR sine theta is also there. Okay, so 
we should have written all the things so that there is no calculus mistake. So cos theta and there will be sin theta also, okay? So it will be rho one g r square l, rho one g r q l. So sin theta cos theta, that will be sin two theta by two. You have to integrate this and it will be from zero to pi by two. So it is rho one g r q l by two and sin two theta integration will be minus cos two theta by two from zero to pi by two. If you put the limits, so this will be cos pi cos zero. So output of this will be one. And so finally, this will be rho one g r q l by two. Okay, so this is the torque due to the rho one liquid. Rho one liquid is the torque lag, right? So rho two liquid hai, uske vase kya torque hoga. So we have to multiply by this only. Okay, so torque due to this I'm writing here. So torque two, it is let's say torque one. So torque two is rho two g l r cube by six. So we have to just equate this to torque. Okay, so let's equate the torques. So rho one g r cube l by two. It will be rho two g l r cube by six. So you can see this uh, g r cube l will be cancelled. G r cube l will be cancelled, and this is three and this rho two by rho one answer is three. Okay, so I have calculated rho two by rho one using this integration technique, and in the solution, we, what we just did here, and we just equated the torque torque due to the rho one liquid and torque due to this rho two liquid, and just balance it out and get the answer. Now I am going for the another method. <clears throat> in another method, what I am going to do is, ये जो liquid element है यहाँ पे, I am taking this liquid element. Okay, इधर का torque निकालना it's uh, not difficult either cut or uh, the same thing i will do okay it will be acting at a distance r by 3 so it is the same thing here so only the thing is uh, on this side on row one side so on row one side now i am going to take this liquid element okay this liquid element and let's take it out and make it ability so ability of that liquid element and on that liquid element what are the forces so on this vertical phase there is a fx here okay on that vertical phase there is fx here and on this phase uh, on this horizontal phase there is fy like this and that is mg and these are the forces exerted by the cylinder on this uh, <coughs> liquid element and the same fh and fv will be exerted by this liquid on this cylinder so directly we can find this fh and fv so we are not interested in fh and fv values we are interested in their torques okay we have to balance torque about this so when we balance torque about this so this uh, fv uh, this fv is equal to fi minus mg and this fh is equal to fx okay so basically on this uh, cylindrical phase on this cylindrical phase this uh, fh will be acting like this okay in the same manner as fx is acting here so just fx yahan pe lag raha hai waise fh yahan pe cylindrical surface pe lagega और एफ आई लगेगा इस तरीके से एफ वी लगेगा ठीक है सो एफ वी इज बेसिकली एफ आई माइनस एम जी सो यू कैन सी दैट एफ आई जिस तरीके से यहाँ पर इस पर लग रहा है वैसे ही सिलेंड्रिकल सर्फेस के ऊपर एफ वाई माइनस एम जी दैट इज एफ वो फोर्स लगेगा तो मुझे अगर इसके बाद टॉर्क निकालना है तो एफ एक्स का टॉर्क और एम जी का टॉर्क और एफ आई का टॉर्क इन तीनों का टॉर्क निकालना पड़ेगा ठीक है सो आई कैन फाइंड ए टॉर्क ड्यू टू दिस थ्री ओके तो लाइन ऑफ एक्शन उनकी वैसे की वैसी रहेगी जैसे इसके लाइन इस एफ एक्स की जो लाइन ऑफ एक्शन है तो वैसे इस एफ एच की लाइन ऑफ एक्शन होगी और एफ वी की लाइन ऑफ एक्शन डायरेक्टली बताना मुश्किल होगा आई कैन फाइंड दी लाइन ऑफ एक्शन ऑफ एफ वाई सेपरेटली एंड एम जी सेपरेटली ओके सो इसके तो लाइन ऑफ एक्शन आर बाई थ्री पर होगी दैट इज नॉट ए इशू और जो एफ एक्स होगा यहाँ पे वो रो जी एल आर स्क्वायर बाई टू हो जाएगा लाइन ऑफ एक्शन आर बाई थ्री डिस्टेंस पे ठीक है और इसके वजह से तो एंटी क्लॉक वाइज आ रहा था इसका क्लॉक वाइज टॉर्क होगा ठीक है इसका क्लॉक वाइज टॉर्क होगा और इसके वजह से भी क्लॉक वाइज टॉर्क होगा लेकिन इस एम का टॉर्क जो होगा वो एंटी क्लॉक वाइज होगा ठीक है सो दिस टॉर्क विल बी एंटी क्लॉक वाइज व्हाट इज द लाइन ऑफ एक्शन ऑफ दिस एफ वाई सो एफ वाई इज यूनिफॉर्मली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड फोर सो इट इज एट ए डिस्टेंस आर बाई टू सो एफ वाई इज यूनिफॉर्मली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड एट ए डिस्टेंस आर बाई टू इट इज एक्टिंग सो द ओनली थिंग इज टू फाइंड दी 
line of action or this distance uh, of line of action of mg from this uh, hinge point and for that uh, i need to find the center of mass of that area so if i take a rectangle or i think this is a square okay and from this square i am removing this thing Okay, from this square, I am removing this thing. So from this square of R and R, I am removing this part. Only this part is remaining. I have to find the center of mass of this part. Okay, to find the line of action of MG. So I have to find the center of mass of this part. So I can use the cavity concept to find the center of mass. Okay, so let's say this is your y-axis. Let's say this is x-axis. So I have to find the axiom. So from this square, suppose I have removed this disk and I have to find this uh, center of mass of this part only, okay, this part only. So axiom is A1, X1 minus A2, X2. I'm using the cavity concept of center of mass. So what is this A1? A1 is this complete R square. And what is X1? So it's X coordinate of center of mass of this complete area is square is R by two. What is A2, which is removed here? So A2 is pi r square by 4. And where is center of mass? Its center of mass is at a distance 4r by 3 pi from here. So this is 4r by 3 pi. I have taken x-axis towards left, so there is no issue. So A1, A1 is r square. And this is pi r square by 4. So from here, you can find the center of mass of this. This is r divided by. So it will come out like this. I'm writing directly to save some time. Okay, so now just uh, you have to find the torque of these forces. So torque of these forces, this Fx. This Fx is uh, everywhere it is rho one, okay, everywhere it is rho one. So it is rho one gl r square by two multiplied with r by three, okay. What is torque of this Fy? Fy is uh, a uniformly distributed force. So rho one g r square l, this is the force and multiplied by r by 2. Okay, so this way you can write. And now for mg, so first you have to find m also. Okay, so what is the mass here? Mass uh, will be equal to, first you have to find the volume, okay, then mass. So torque will be in the opposite sense, so rho 1. What is the volume of it? So volume of it is r square is the area minus pi r square by 4 into l so this is the volume into g so this is the mass and this is the distance of center of mass okay so this is the complete torque you can see this 1 minus pi 4 will be cancelled here okay and this torque is balancing this torque rho 2 g r cube l by 6 okay so this is the torque due to that rho 2 liquid so from here also you can find row two by row one final answer we will get it is equal to three so the final answer for this problem equal to three